Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to link the two conveyor belts together, and then we're going to do a very simple pick up with the robot and move into place. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change these boxes, which are carrying vessels, to my actual part. And my part is over here, has my nice logo up on there. So let's change that on both of them. So we go into the round belt first. Let's go into that link, double click it. And right where it says parts, so it may be in motion, just go to parts and check box one, hit apply. And then you'll see your box one show up and you may see kind of like a haze to it just because there's a box within a box. So if you don't want to see that haze, we're going to go to the link CAD and where it says visible, we're going to go transparent. So we're going to go over to transparent and you'll get rid of that haze. And then we hit apply and then let's move on to the next one. So let's hit OK. Let's go on to our conveyor belt. Double click that one. Go to transparency. Make it transparent. There you go. So it barely, barely can see it. And then we're going to go to parts and we're going to add box one. Hit OK. So now we have our box. Now this is important to have that box because you're not able to pick in place unless you have that part there and that box one and simulate our box one picking up as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get this so it's coming down the conveyor belt. So let's go here to OK and let's go to teach, add simulation program and we'll call this conveyor movement. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a couple of remarks. So I'm going to go remark. And this is where I'm going to clear all my digitals and make sure everything is in place. And the first thing I want to do is make sure that my box here is starting there. And then this box is starting where these two meet up. So we're going to go to instruction. And the first one we're going to do is the round. So I'm going to go to the round belt, double click it, and go to motion. This will tell me the digital outs and digital ins that we need to put in. So we want to be at negative 90, which means digital 2 needs to be off. So instruction, digital number 2, and we want that to be off. And we want to wait until that is off. So we're going to go the wait until the digital number three is on. Now that we have that one in place, let's get this one in place. So it's going to start out at the end of our conveyor belt and then it's going to warp in place and we have to sync them so that they looks like it's a seamless transition between there so we're going to have to do a little bit of manipulation with that so let's go to the conveyor belt and we want to end at the 2000 so we're going to go digital one to be off digital output number one off that means we are going to be at digital input number two to be on so we're going to wait until that happens. Then we're going to go remark. And then here's going to be my actual movement instruction. All right, so we're going to come down the conveyor belt with our round. So I'm going to go back to my round belt so I know which digital ins and digital outs to put. So I'm going to go digital out. And we're going to go to zero. So digital two needs to be turned on. Digital 2 on, and then as soon as we get to 0, which is DI4, so we're going to wait until we get to that point. So as soon as that turns on, so as soon as we go here, now we want this to warp into that place. So we're going to go digital output, and let's go to our straight conveyor belt. And we want to be starting at 0, so digital 1 on. And we're going to wait until we get to that point. And that wait is going to be digital one to on. So as soon as we get to that point, we're going to now move it down the way. So we're going to go down to 2000. So digital one off.
And as soon as we start moving it, we want this one to warp back as well at the same exact time we transition. So we want this to be digital 2 off, which means it'll go into beginning. So we're going to go digital number 2, and we're going to turn this one off. And then we are going to wait until we get to the bottom of this conveyor belt, which is going to be the 2000. So digital two and then digital out number one is going to be on. So we're going to go wait until digital two is at that point. Digital two off. And then we're going to wait until we get to digital two. So again, we're going to warp it as soon as this comes to this point right here. And then it's going to come down the conveyor belt. So let's see how this runs. See if we need to do any transitions or weights. So coming down, that one warps. There we go. So we have that transition all the way to the bottom there. So everything worked very smoothly. This warped back to the beginning. Um, and then this came down. And as soon as we can go, we can actually loop this if we want to. But it's not needed right now. So now that we have this conveyor movement, let's just watch it again. Now let's create that pick and place program. So let's create a new program. Let's go teach, add simulation program, and we're going to go pick up, hit OK. All right, so this is going to be our pickup program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, let's make sure this is in the home view. We're going to call this our home view here. So we're going to go add move point. So we're going to record this, and this is going to be a joint movement to this position. So this is going to be our home position. And then we're going to call our conveyor movement. Now that we have that called, now we need to set up our tool with the box that is suctioned to it. So let's click actual tool, double click it. Let's add our box. We we'll hit apply. And then there's our box. Right now it's upside down. So let's go edit part offset. And let's just change all these to zero. And now the rotation's correct. And it looks like the offset downwards is also correct as well, which is negative 185 millimeters. So now that that's all set up and we have that movement, we can turn off the visible at runtime as well. Make sure that's invisible when we're running because we're going to pick it up and then move with it. So make sure that's unchecked. Hit OK. And then let's turn it off. Okay, so but it doesn't mean that it's not there already. We just turned off our tool. So open and close or hide our tooling. Now we're going to move to this position. So we're going to go to our conveyor belt, double click it, move to, there's our move to. This is going to be our pickup place. So we're going to go record, and this is going to be a linear record. And we're going to go there in 2000 millimeters per second, so pretty quickly. And then I'm going to bring my robot up so that is outside of this area. So I'm going to go actually go position here with the teach pendant, and right now the Z is at this point, so I'm going to just bring it up to 500 millimeters so that we're above that part. So this is going to be my safe position. So I'm going to go up here, and we're going to go joint down to that safe position. I'm going to move this up before my pickup, and then I'm going to go down below, and then I'm going to also go to that point as well afterwards. So I'm going to linear up to that position as well. Okay, so I'm going to go home. Conveyor is going to do what it needs to do. We're going to come down to this position. We're going to linear down to our part. We're going to linear back up to our safe position, and then we're going to go back home. So I'm going to go here with my home, and I'm going to copy teach pendant lines, and then I'm going to paste teach pendant lines down below. So then it has the same position. So I see this actually run. So go home. Conveyor comes down. Comes over down, picks up, and then back over. So now what we need to do is actually to pick it up. So let's go in here, let's go instruction, we're going to go pick up, and this pick up needs to happen after we linear down to it, so we're going to move it up one position, and we are going to go to box one, and it's going to pick up from the conveyor belt, and then it's going to pick up with the suction. So now it should actually pick it up.
this is actually the safe position. So we're going to move this up one. So we move this up. This is actually where the pickup is. So position number three, this is pickup. Uh, it wasn't actually glitching. So now this is correct. There we go. And then that's where we will place it somewhere else. So just going to the top view to see what it looks like. And run it one last time. And there we go. So now we are moving from a round part to a straight track so that we can pick it up and then place it possibly on a pallet or into a machine. Next video we're going to take this now and then we're going to stack it onto a pallet.